This speech really attracted a lot of attention uh, from the delegates during the summit. The reason being is, was the delivery. It was loud, it was full of energy, it was, it was defiant, but it was also rather alien to uh, a lot of the other speeches that we'd seen from not just Western uh, ministers, but, but Asian ministers too. So it was really quite unique. It was divided into two segments. The first segment, if we go into a little bit more detail, if we drill down into the speech, the first segment was a Chinese policy statement. So talking about China's peaceful intent, China's continuing engagement in international operations, peacekeeping operations, and Chinese, China's contribution to international security. The second part of the speech was designed to retaliate to some of the comments that Ashton Carter had made in his speech uh, at the first part of the summit. So Ashton Carter made the comment about a great wall of isolation. This was a, a unique opportunity and a privileged opportunity for China to actually respond and retaliate to those rather uh, strong remarks that the US uh, Secretary of Defense made. So Admiral Sun decided to drill down a bit more into the South China Sea question. He was very resolute about China's position on sovereignty, and he also mentioned that China is entitled to militarize those islands or to, to use necessary defense. And the implication is, is that uh, the intensity of US freedom of navigation op operations, if they continue, then China will respond in a commensurate way. There was also the question, during question and answer, there was the question of uh, the, the North Korean uh, threat. And Admiral Sun, uh, he's in a difficult position because China is an ally of, the North, of North Korea, but he made a very strong and loud remark about US THAAD radar deployments, uh, over the horizon radar deployments on the Korean Peninsula. This is an extremely contentious issue in China and for the Russians as well. So this speech, in conclusion, was designed for a domestic audience in China. That's something we need to bear in mind. It was something that was designed to retaliate to uh, increasing US pressure uh, over China's uh, creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea. But broadly speaking, this speech was aimed at creating uh, the opportunity for engagement later on bilaterally with the United States to vent pressure in a public uh, domain. But uh, later on in the bilateral relationship, it offers the opportunity to go straight to the heart of the tension in the US-China bilateral relationship.